guys, my name is James. And I'm Ashley. We sold our house and we are traveling across the country with our kids. My name's Goose and this is Maverick. Come join us. One of the frustrating things about this trailer is there is no place for me to have like an office set up. So basically, I've commandeered the table, the dining room table. The frustrating thing about that is the nearest power outlet when I have my laptop right here is I have to run the cord up along the back here, plug into an extension cord, go around, and then up to that receptacle right there. Super frustrating because then things like this happen. This is the power cord to my external hard drive and somehow it got wedged and pinched between the wall and the dinette. I have no idea how that happened. I don't know if it happened while we were driving and it vibrated down, but for the life of me, I cannot get that out. It is pinched in there so tight. So before I lose another cord or something horrible happens, I'm gonna fix this. So I've read in a bunch of places online that doing electrical work is very similar in an RV as it is to a home. And I've replaced light fixtures and done all sorts of things, put in ceiling fans and things like simple electrical work at home. So I figured, you know what? I bet you I can tackle this project myself. So I went to Home Depot and Walmart, priced things out, and Walmart was actually cheaper, believe it or not. And I got some supplies. So we have a basic receptacle, some wiring connectors, junction box, way too much wire because I only needed about six feet, but they only sold it in 15 foot lengths, and a cover. So here's the plan. I am gonna tap in to the electrical wiring that is already run into the exterior wall here from this light. Originally I was thinking I could just replace the light with the receptacle, but then that would look pretty, I mean it would work, but it would look pretty chintzy, pretty weird to have a power outlet just sitting up there on the wall and then I'd have to have my cords running down. So the good news is, as soon as I open up the wall, I don't know if you guys can see this in there, there's actually a channel that runs from the top here all the way down, think of it as like a two by four that just runs the vertical length of this wall. The one thing I'm not positive on is if there's like sections as it goes down. Like, so I don't know if, I'm hoping I'll be able to just run the wire straight down, then tap a little hole right here in the base of the chair run the wire along the edge and then hook up the receptacle right there. So that is the plan. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> We've made pet All right, first hole done. Did you just start to say we made Get the evil dragon daddy! Ah! Oh! Oh, so close! Go get it! If only we had more weaponry! Use the sword! Oh. Use the sword! Well, come and get the sword! Go! <laughs> careful, careful, not around the baby! Come on, show me what you got! <laughs> Little cocky there, kid! Ah, yeah, ah, 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 it's okay. Yo, more fun! Oh. Show no mercy. Yeah. Way to go, pirate. <laughs> Goose. Apparently we turned into pirates. Oh my dog. <laughs> pirates show no Hi, mercy. Buddy, help me. Oh, but but doesn't understand. He's he's getting a little oh okay. He's getting a little upset. It's okay. Oh oh. Okay, good job. Ah, 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 I no. Right, left, duck, jump, force push. Force push. Uh. Oh. 
She was having fun. She was. Oh, Daddy was teaching both his girls how to be Jedi's, but she just wants to be with her original love, her bud bud, or she wants to do it herself. Nope, she wants to be with bud bud. She was with him earlier. Oh, good job. Good loves for bud bud. Oh, your BFF. Good boy, mister. Good boy, mister man. So the nice thing about Apollo is that even though he's a big dog, that's his like usual position when she's around. He just lays his head down and just is really gentle until people come and then he barks and forgets. But we're trying to teach her that she can't pull his tail, which is what she's doing right now. So I gotta go. Today was supposed to be our off day, like an edit day, a work day, which has started out as just fine. I edited, finished editing the vlog, got it uploaded, titled, thumbnail, all sorts of good stuff. Then we relaxed, we went outside for a little bit. Play. And that's when the craziness of today happened. Mommy, would you care to enlighten them about what happened today? You want me to do the first part or the second part? Sure, you can do the first part and Bud Bud will do the last part. Okay, so the first part, we met a really nice lady today, and we were talking. And a guy, too. And Yes, and Maverick woke up from her nap, and I went in to go get her, and it was a poop apocalypse in her bedroom. So when she started, Maverick was a poopy pooperson. So when she woke up, she apparently... Exploded. I, I, I don't know. It was all up her back, and then Underhead. she grabbed... It, I'm assuming, and then was moving around, and so it got all over the bed, all over the sides of the bed. It was all over her head, it was her face, it was in her mouth, it was on her hands and her arms, on her shirt, her pants, her legs, her feet. Did you say it was everywhere? It was everywhere. Yeah, it was and, everywhere. And then she tried to feed it to me. Uh, while I was giving her a shower and was very upset that I did not accept her generous donation. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. So we got that all cleaned up and we started laundry. And then, Daddy, would you like to take it from here? Any parents out there who have had a blowout all over the crib know that that is like, it takes it out of you because it's like mentally and physically disgusting. <laughs> so I come back inside and I'm like, oh, okay, the laundry's going. Ashley's outside picking up outside, finishing up what she's doing. I walk upstairs and all of a sudden on the steps, there is a puddle of blood. I feel like, I feel like I should have pulled out the camera, but I didn't. I just, it was like, what's going on? I started freaking out. I'm like, why is the dog bleeding? I look at him and I see blood all over his paw. I was like, great, he's caught his toenail on something or broke his toenail, because that has happened before to him. Get out the wipes, clean them all up. There's no wound. I can't find it anywhere. I check his tail, I check his belly, his legs, his lips, his gums. Nothing. <laughs> Weirdest thing ever. So we gave up because there was no blood anywhere that we could find. They checked in his ear, and they're like, oh, there's the boy is in his ear. So let's wrap his ears up, so let's put a band-aid on it so it doesn't bleed everywhere, so so we don't have any more. Like Ash said, we gave up. We didn't know what was going on, so I was ready to call it quits. Like, I, I don't know if we got into something or if it healed up and whatnot, and then he shook his head, and blood sprayed everywhere. <laughs> let's rewind a few minutes. We were all outside, like I said, having a good time, and one of the neighbors walked by, and we introduced our dog to their dog. Apollo, I thought, was being his crotchety old self because he started barking and getting after the dog. Little did I know, apparently their dog had nipped his ear enough that it took a little chunk or a slice out of his ear and just started bleeding. Not quickly, not, not like a ton, but long enough... It, I honestly don't know how we didn't see it at first. Like, how we completely missed it. Because this entire area, like this whole area was covered with blood. It was dripping down the side and drips all over the stairs. Anyways, long story being short, Apollo had a chunk missing from his ear. And so after wiping him up, getting a bandit on there, this poor guy 
has to have his ears wrapped up because he loves to shake his head. And every time he shakes his head, the blood clots get <laughs> flung out and he starts bleeding again. So at least for the next hour or so, no, this poor guy has to, yeah, I think we should leave it on more than half an hour though. This poor guy <laughs> looks like, sister I don't know, Mary a sister Margaret. Mary Margaret. Uh, Anyway, so sorry that I, I always hate vlogs where we tell you what happened instead of showing you what happened, but it was just one of those days where we weren't planning on vlogging. This was our off day. Well, no one wants to see poop. I don't know. Poop nobody, would be a good thumbnail. No one wants to see poop. And when your dog is bleeding, it's not my first instinct to be like, let's grab the camera and show everybody before yeah. we diagnose the situation. Yeah, and clean it up. Anyways. Hopefully tomorrow will be a better day. And on top of all this, I started off this morning by paying a bunch of bills. So it just started off as a fun failed morning. But we're staying positive. Tomorrow will be a better day. We just had a delicious teriyaki dinner. Mommy made us a crock pot teriyaki chicken, pineapple with some white rice. And now the kids are going to bed. Me and Ash will probably watch a show and just try and... Because we have Legoland in the morning. Yeah, yeah. All right, guys, check that out. Doesn't it look legit? That looks like a real plug. Like, it looks like that came pre-installed. So I should be really happy, right? Like, it should be like, yes, it's done. It's beautiful. Let's plug in my laptop and start charging. But a lot's happened since I talked to you guys last. So basically what I did, just to remind you guys, is I tapped into the power of this lamp ran down over here and put in the little socket down there because there is no plugins on this entire slide. What I found out is the reason there are no plugins on this entire slide is because they ran bare minimal wiring and power to the slide because all they have here is one, two, three, four, five, six LED lights. And to run six LED lights does not take much power. So after I was racking my brain, pulling out my hair, trying to figure out why, after hours of work, my stinking plug wasn't working, I got out my little voltmeter and I have less than one volt of power running to the outlet. And for those of you who don't know, a normal power outlet has 120 volts. So that's less than 1% of what I need. Needless to say, I can't charge my phone, I can't charge my laptop, I can do nothing except for maybe run an LED light. <sighs> I'm so defeated, you guys. So in order to get this to work, I have to run an entire new power cord out there of a thicker gauge because the gauge wire they used was basically the bare minimum for running enough power to get those LED lights on. Not thick enough or um, safe enough, I guess, to run 120 volts out there. So for today, I'm just gonna leave it as a plug, which is kind of a bummer because it's like taunting me there. It's like, oh, look how pretty I am. Plug on your laptop, but I can't do anything with it. But right now, I'm not gonna worry about that and then hopefully figure out how to make this work in the near future because it is really annoying to have to have my extension cord running across the couch where the girls then sit. Things get sat on, my cords get pinched in the wall. So I really wanna get it done, but it's not gonna happen right now. Uh, stay tuned later this week, Friday or Saturday, you will have our Legoland adventure. And I'm stoked because I've never been there. Are you excited? Mm -hmm. Are you excited? Mm -hmm. And are you excited? Yeah! Yay! This one's been a grumpus today, too. Stay positive, guys. <laughs> Life is an adventure. So get out there and make some memories.